Good morning and thank you for joining me today. So we have made it 1,000 subscribers for the Scottish Partners channel. So thank you to everyone that has subscribed so far, that's watched the videos. Absolutely fantastic to reach this milestone. And I wanted to do a wee Q&A video uh, to let you all ask your questions and see what sort of answers I might come up with for them. So in order to help me out with that, come down to Pollock Park Run today, the home of park runs in Scotland. This was the first one to start about 15 years ago now almost. And I've got some guest appearances with me to, to help me out and ask some of these questions. So without further ado, let's get into the questions. Well, first set of questions and we're going to hand over to... Hello, so I'm Colin and uh, I started Park Run in Perth and I've been uh, travelling around and that's how I met Douglas through Park Run. Uh, we first met at Pleen, I think Pleen, it was. yep, uh-huh. Yeah, that was... 2018. Yeah, March I think it was, yes, wasn't it? Was. it? So yeah. you, you were halfway through your... Oh, uh, not even halfway, that was like Event 7 or something well, at that well, point, well, quite well, early well, on. Well, but anyway, let's go into the questions. Yes. So the first question we've got is from Mark Shelter. Are there any park runs, Douglas, worldwide that you would particularly like to visit? That's a good question. I mean, I do like some tourism, obviously. I, the one that I would have said would have been Chrissy Field in San Francisco at the Golden Gate Bridge. But that park run did not return after COVID, unfortunately. So can't have that one on the list. I think, um, I think Japan would be a great country to go to. I'm not sure about a specific park run there, but just Japan in general, I think would be my top destination. I think that would be a fabulous place to go to. Okay, great. So our next question is from David Morris. And David asks, I notice Douglas often seems to gradually pick up his pace and still manage to talk. Impressive. Is this pacing your preferred approach for 5K? And there is a second question. We'll come into that in a second. Um, I, I mean, to be honest, I yes, I think so. I think when you're running a 5K, you probably want to be trying to negative split it perhaps so go out on what you think the pace is you want to do and if you've got something left in the tank you can then always pick it up towards the end there's nothing worse than going out too fast and then just absolutely dying towards the end of it 4k done oh stitch <sighs> yes i can relate to yeah. that <laughs> i think a lot of people on, uh -huh. on your channel can and the second question what in your experience is the the trailiest stroke muddiest park run in Scotland? Question mark, Pleen, thanks. <laughs> I, yeah, no, Pleen would certainly probably be up there. Um, it's never been quite that bad when I've ran Pleen. I think in my personal experience, the muddiest one that I've ran before might have actually been here. So there's a hill behind us at the Borough Collection. Uh, Paul used to do a winter route up and down yeah. uh, the, the grass grassy slopes here and that churned up into a complete mud bath one time they don't do it anymore because i think it ruined the grass uh, but that aside i would say air uh, also gets really muddy i had a really bad uh, muddy experience wasn't well, not a bad experience but just really bad mud at it so yeah, i think that can be up yeah. there and i've heard fascally can get pretty muddy as well but the time i went it was dry yeah good excellent so the next question is from mark robertson and he asks hi how do you find out about new park runs um, I think Facebook, really. Facebook groups are quite good for it. Obviously, they appear on the Parkrun website maybe about a week before they start, but in terms of finding out about them, just a general chatter on, on, on Facebook groups. Yep. You've got, like, Parkrun Friends Scotland or Running Friends Scotland. Just trying to listen out and see what you hear. See what's going on, yeah. And the second part, he's saying, what was the peak and pit of the Parkrun Challenge? I am, so I'm assuming for Parkrun Challenge, what he means is in 2018 when we attempted to do all of them in one year, I would say the peak was coming back to Pollock, hadn't been there for a full year, came back and that was the final run of that year. Well, except for Hay Lodge, which then started up a few weeks later, yes. but officially this was kind of the end of it. It was lovely coming back, seeing friends and family and having everyone for that. Um, the pit, I wouldn't say there was one, the whole thing was great. No, good, excellent. Okay, so the last, uh, next question we have, from Sarah Rob. What happened to Craig? 
<laughs> what happened to Craig? Um, yeah, no, a lot of people have been asking that. Uh, Craig, Craig does still exist. Don't worry, we are still friends, still hang out and stuff like that. Craig just wanted to remain behind the camera. Now, I think um, you know he'd he'd done his bit, but he was um, yeah, just wants to remain behind the scenes as a as a silent partner now. Yeah, that's fair enough. Good. Okay, next question is from Emma Shaw. Uh, she says she really enjoys the channel. My question, or her question, is. Which are your five most spectacular courses in terms of amazing scenery? That is a difficult one because like there are so many stunning locations throughout Scotland. Um, if I was to pick some, I would say well, I'm going to put Lewes Castle up in Stornoway, yeah. uh, Bressa up in Shetland, uh, Alness, that was really nice as well, Aviemore, and then as a final one, I'm going to go with Mount Stewart on Butte, um, but that's not to say that the rest aren't stunning, there are loads more I can add to that list, but picking five, they're the ones that sprung to my head. Excellent, good. Okay, so I'm sure there'll be some other guest appearances coming in to ask you more questions in a minute. Cool, thank you Colin. All right. Right, well we now have our next uh, guest questioner, Rory, would you like to give us a quick introduction of yourself? I'm Rory, um, I started in 2016 at Perth Junior Park Run, I've done about 170 Junior Park Runs. Awesome, and uh, you've got a set of questions for me then. So the first question is from Sam Barkley. What's your favourite park run? Well, my favourite park run. Um, well, so kind of going back to the top five, I think I'm going to put I'm going to put Lewes Castle up there again, probably as my favourite one. I think the whole trip to get up to Stornoway was fantastic. Taking the ferry across, we had stunning weather for it, and the route itself um, had a bit of everything. Lovely seaside bit through the forest as well. And then the castle at it too. It was a uh, yeah, absolutely lovely, lovely park run. Um, Sam also says, what do you think the toughest park run was? The toughest park run. Um, I think there's a few that, that that vie for that in Scotland. I think you'd have to put Drum Chapel, Fascally Forest, and Queens up as the three toughest in Scotland. And I think I'm going to give it to Drum Chapel. Okay. Uh, do you have any memorable moments from park run? I am just, I think the whole experience of going around the country, seeing different places, being with friends and family and just getting to, to experience the country, I, it's brilliant. Um, this one's from Helen. I'd want to hear about which park runs have the best post park run cafe. The best post park run cafe? Well, I mean, as you can see behind us, we have the Burrow Collection here at Pollock. That is, that is certainly a nice cafe, nice and big. Joss asks, which event did you enjoy the least and why? Which event did I enjoy the least? Is that Josh Mackay, is it, that's asking that? Well, in that case, camper down. And which was, what was the worst experience you've had for a parkrun so far? And that's still Josh asking this? Yes. The first time I met Josh was my worst experience. Chris asks, where, where needs a parkrun but doesn't have one yet? See, that's an interesting question. I mean, where where needs one park run is usually something that should be set up by the local community so if somewhere needs one then the people in that community will set one up there are probably areas of scotland that don't really have one that's accessible to them colin and i were just talking earlier creef doesn't have an adult park run at it it does have a junior one so maybe they'd be able to set up one it just depends what what happens to be available um but yeah i think if somewhere needs one then it will tend to get one set up um claire asks how did you find out about Parkrun way back in the day? What made you keep coming back? Ooh, that's going back a long time now. I think my first Parkrun was probably approaching 10 years ago now. I think it was 2013. Uh, and it was actually Craig, I think, that first introduced me to Parkrun. So him and I went along to Strathclyde Parkrun. Uh, he's like, well, there's this thing you can do. You, you turn up, you can run this free 5K, you get a time. And I'm like... Why can't I just do that from my front door? And he's like, no, no, come along, it'll be good. So I went along and I have been hooked ever since then. Um, I just love um, that you can come along, see familiar, again, friends, uh, etc., and just come and have a good time. Cool, is that everything? Yep. Okay, fantastic. Yep.